Hey guys, Scott here. It is Monday, the 29th of July, 2024. And uh, oh, what a week. I don't know. It feels like it's just been super busy. Uh, we had so many, they still do, so many social engagements this week. It is it is a rough one for us, just trying to keep up with everything. Uh, concerts and people wanting us to record and stuff. So this whole week is just go, go, go. Tonight is kind of our one lull day between things so that we have a little bit of a uh, chance to catch up. Now, the dogs went and saw the vet on Saturday. We didn't hear back from him yesterday. He came by today. Uh, the results on Betty are that she does have a blood infection. Our dogs need to be tested. So he's coming over to do a snap test for them, drop off some medicine, talk about some dog healthcare stuff, uh, trim Clive's toenails because he always gets long toenails. Me as a maniac, she doesn't. So during the day, just work, actually had a chance to do a little bit of catch up, get some of the videos done, feeling good. Uh, Dr. Jorge came over this evening. We hung out for a while and he worked on the doggies and they both came back completely healthy. He said that other than our friend Adon and Caroling's Husky, he has never had any dogs that were disease-free in the way that our dogs are because so many dogs here in Nicaragua have um, one type of uh, disease or another, whether it's a um, virus or a uh, heartworm or just there's, there's like six different things. Every animal has one of them and just our two and their one are the only three he's aware of that don't have anything to come back clean. So that's, that's encouraging. But Betty is contagious, so she can't be staying here. She's got to stay in Managua um, until she's better, which is going to be four weeks. So that's a bit of time. She has to stay away from the other dogs. She can't directly infect the dogs, but if she was to get a tick and it was to bite her, it was to go to them and bite them, it could transmit. So it's not like they can't pass by each other, but we need to keep them apart until uh, she is better. But she's on medication now, so hopefully she'll be getting quite a bit better quite quickly. The um, infection that she has is in her blood, makes her anemic. So that is something that needs to be addressed as well. So she's taking an iron supplement gel uh, that she's got to do. So that was our, uh, that's our Monday. Not, uh, not too exciting, just uh, another working day, but the rest of this week's going to be quite a bit of stuff. So it's just, we got a lot going on and uh, needed one day as kind of a break before all the uh, social engagements. Part of it is just birthday after birthday going on. So we have like two weeks straight of nearly continuous birthday parties. Plus, uh, as Nika Roomba gets going, more people want me to get out and film. And that stuff just, it takes a lot of time. One band asking us to go out in the evening and record could easily take four hours of our evening, not including the time getting to and from and coordinating and planning and, and charging batteries and everything. So every... Every time that happens, it's uh, it can be quite a bit of time. 